Hey guys, it's Michael from Fire and Brilliance, and today, welcome back to that F&B Geminar. And what we'll be talking about today is similar to what I've been discussing the last couple of weeks in my other videos of, um, you know, moissanite versus diamonds, diamonds versus moissanite, you know, pros and cons and those type of things. Today, instead of just focusing on moissanite and diamonds only, we'll be talking about more of a general topic, which is similar but different. So what that basically means is that we're talking about lab versus mind gems, okay? Um, so there's going to be five points that I want to cover and I'm going to go over it with you uh, right away, all right? Uh, so the first point is for lab versus mind, um, are they the same and, or, and are they, or is it fake, right? Um, the answer is yes, they are the same and no, they are not fake. The only true difference between one or the other is one is truly made in a lab, whereas the other one is made in nature and had to, you know, be mined for, okay? Uh, so regardless if you're buying a lab-created diamond, which is made of almost 100% carbon, the actual natural diamond is also made of almost 100% carbon. So the, the, the chemical compounds that makes up these gemstones are exactly the same. There's no difference. With that said, it goes for any other gemstone as well, not just diamonds. It can be rubies, sapphires, tanzanite. Uh, for example, sapphires made of corundum, okay? In the lab, it's also made of the same mineral. The same mineral that is made in nature, the way it's grown, it's basically, um, uh, in the lab, they try to mimic the pressure of how uh, 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 the mineral uh, develops in earth so that it can become a sapphire, regardless if it's a blue sapphire, white sapphire, pink sapphire, you know, what have you, okay? Uh, so there's just different varieties of, of corundum that makes the different colors, right? But it is one and the same, it just depends if it's been made in the lab or made in nature, all right? So there you go. So that's point number one. Point number two is what are the price differences? Well, in terms of pricing, in jewelry, gemstones, or what have you, pricing truly, at the end of the day, uh, is dependent on two things, all right? Number one is the quality of the stone, and number two is the size of the stone, right? Both plays a big deal in terms of pricing. So, if you're comparing a low-quality gemstone to a high-quality gemstone, the prices may vary greatly, especially if the low quality is a smaller stone and the high quality is a much larger stone. It, you could talk about tens of thousands of dollars in terms of natural mined gemstones, regardless if it's a diamond, a ruby, a sapphire, or any other type of stone, okay? Uh, but what are the price differences between a lab versus a mine? Well, typically in labs, when, I, when things are controlled, um, you know, companies are able to make gemstones at a much higher quality, but at the same time reduce the cost because it's controlled, right? So you can make a much higher graded quality gemstone, again, in any kind of gemstone, and reduce the cost. So you could possibly, depending on the type of stone, okay, depending if it's a diamond, depending if it's a ruby, depending if it's a sapphire, you can save anywhere between 10 to 20 to even 60 to 70 percent off of what a natural mined gemstone would be. All right. Uh, for diamonds specifically, you're probably saving anywhere between 10 to 30 percent, whereas uh, for ruby, sapphires, and and, and the uh, the higher graded um, colored stones, you could possibly save more than 50 percent. All right. Um, with that said, um, let's go on to point number three. How do their qualities vary? Uh, similar to what I've dis uh, discussed earlier in points number one and two, uh, the qualities vary greatly because, um, well, it's, it's, it's not, it does not necessarily mean it varies greatly. You can't find very high quality stones in nature. It's just that in nature, it's very chaotic, right? Sometimes you, you'll have bad ones, sometimes you'll have good ones. Depends on how it's formed, depends on if there's minerals uh, that are stuck in it, if there's inclusions, if there are uh, different um, elements and, and, and those type of things that, that, that was formed within that specific gemstone. So it's very chaotic in nature. That's how it's naturally made. 
uh, in, in a lab, um, you know, it's, it's more controlled. So therefore, the, quant uh, the quality varies greatly if it's a lab. Typically, you'll get a higher production of high quality gemstones in a lab since it's controlled uh, versus in nature. It does not necessarily mean that you can't get high quality gemstones in nature. Of course you can, but it's just going to cost a whole lot more, right? So point number one, uh, two, and three uh, definitely ties together. Number four, are there quantities scarce? Um, yes, I mean, if you want to talk about true scarcity, of course, there's a limited amount uh, on Earth, right? Uh, I'm sure there's more in space, but if, you know, on Earth, uh, if you're talking about gemstones and minerals, of course, there's a limited amount, uh, so it's scarce in that sense. Uh, does that mean that there's not an abundance of it that we haven't found? There could be a lot more that we haven't found, right? Uh, if you're talking about natural gemstones. Is it scarce for lab? No, obviously not. It's, it's made. Uh, you can make more. Uh, but yeah, also, you know, at the same time, you, you always want to weigh up the pros and cons as to why you would choose one over the other. And there are many reasons as to why people do that. All right. Um, can you see the difference? You can definitely see the difference if you're comparing a low quality stone to a high quality stone. All right. Uh, you can definitely see the difference if you're comparing a, a color stone to a clear or a white diamond. Right. Uh, can you see the difference between a lab versus a mine? Unless you're a gemologist in a lab with a microscope and know exactly what you're looking for, it's highly unlikely that you'll be able to identify it. Um, because, again, a lab created stone is exactly the same. There is no difference in terms of how it's made, what it's made of, and what consists within that specific gemstone. Um, so, can you see the difference for the normal person, the average Joe that's trying to buy it? Most likely not. I'm not saying you can't, but for the most part, unless you have a trained eye, unless you know what you're looking for, uh, it's going to be very difficult to tell. So again, guys, um, this channel is definitely made for you uh, to educate you on what it is that you may be looking for when looking for uh, to, to purchase jewelry, a ring, an engagement ring, or anything like that. So if, if you are looking for an uh, engagement ring, or if you know someone, uh, definitely share our channel. Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, comment below, and let us know what you like about it, what, let us know what you do not like about it. It. Your feedback is welcome and I will see you again next time. Thank you.